This is how you set up hot water recirculation timers on the Navient NPE2 tankless water heaters. First, press the menu button to get into your main menu. Recirculation settings is number one. Click OK. We're going to set up the external recirculation for this. So you press up OK again. You need to make sure your internal two-way valve is set. That little valve right down there. Okay, I'm going to try to reach in. That valve with your fingertip, just push it down. There you go. So that's in the external position. Is there an external pump connected to the PC board? No, there's not. We're using the internal pump. So you select no. Always on means it's going to run constantly. You don't want to do that unless you just got plenty of money for fuel and really want instant hot water at any time of day. Intelligent, the heater's trying to learn your hot water use. And if you change the way you use it, it's going to change the way it sets. So we really don't recommend that. Weekly, you can set up each day of the week. Let's select that. You have one day, three day, or seven day. On one day, you set it one time and all of the days are the same. On three day, Monday through Friday is day one, day two is Saturday, day three is Sunday. Seven day, you set each timer individually. If you use a seven day timer, you can set up each one of the days individually. Monday, just select that to show you. I have my heater set up to run from 5.30 in the morning to about 7.15, excuse me, about 7.30. I don't want that. I want to deselect that. So say OK. From 5.30 to 7, there's plenty of time for research for me. Click OK. That takes us back to the main menu. Or we could have took the back button and got out of there to the rest of the menu. So let's go back in real quick. So basically, you're going to set up all of your days the way you want them. This one is set up to run from 6 to 9.30. We're going to change all of that. It's also set up to run in the afternoon. We're going to change all that. It's a 24-hour timer. This is basically every 30 minutes on this timer. So every one of these settings that you want, you want it blackened. And if you don't want it, you hit OK and unblacken it. you got to go through this little dance. I'm going to show you a much easier way to do the setup if you have the NaviLink hooked up to this water heater. Press and hold the back and the menu button for a couple seconds. When it comes in, we're going to go into the installer menu. Password is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, go into your parameter settings. In your parameter settings menu, go down to research sample time. It sets the time that the pump will periodically cycle to determine if the line needs to be reheated during that time when you have your research setting turned on. Default is 30 minutes. Take that down to about 10. So basically every 10 minutes during that 30 minute time period, it's going to sample the loop, see if it's up to temperature, and bring it up to temperature if it's not. Then go down to research differential temperature. This is going to make sure that that water temperature is up to the temp you want. Default is 9 degrees. I like to tighten that up to about 5 degrees. So basically if it's set at 120, if it reads 115, it'll wait another 10 minutes. If it reads 114, it'll fire the pump up and go ahead and reheat your loop. And then just back out of everything to get back to the main screen. If you are running Recirc, you should get one of these NaviLinks and hook it up to your house Wi-Fi. If you have a single heater, you can use the NaviLink Lite, which is much cheaper than the NaviLink, which you would need for multiple heaters like this. With the NaviLink app installed, you open up your app, choose your heaters. When the app opens up, you can go down to your control settings. It's set for weekly right down here. Let's click on that. And it shows from 5.30 a.m. to 6.40 a.m. You have 10-minute intervals with the app, which is way better than 30-minute intervals with the control on the unit. And I have mine set up every single day of the week to run the same amount of time. But not on the weekends, because we really don't know when we're going to get up, and it doesn't matter. To add a setting, you simply would click the Add button, just like that. AM or PM, add your times. You can have as many time slots on and off as you like. So that's how to set up your research using the NaviLink app.
The app also gives you current information on what's going on with your heater, if there's a flow rate, what it is, your temperature, inlet and outlet, which is pretty cool to see, and a lot of other data too, how many gas therms you've used, uh, BTU current usage, all kinds of stuff that's in this app. It is just super handy and we highly recommend that if you have a Navian tankless water heater. So in the current configuration, the research system on these tankless water heaters is going to start at 5.30 in the morning. Every 10 minutes, it's going to check the water temperature in the loop. And if it needs to, it's going to bring it back up to temperature. When it gets more than a 5 degree differential from the set point, it's going to make sure you fire up those water heaters and bring the whole house back up to temperature from 5.30 in the morning to 7 o'clock and then not run the rest of the day. This will save tens of thousands of gallons of water a year and just running water down the drain waiting for hot water to get to the outlets and save you a load of time. And do it without having a bunch of extra energy used. That should be worth clicking that thumbs up like button. I'll put a link up there in the cards for an entire series on how to set up your Navian tankless water heaters to get them to run the way you want to. So that's a couple of different ways to set up your Navian tankless water heater research system. If you have any questions, please contact us at the 800 number below, or you can contact your local manufacturer's representative for Navian. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and give me that thumbs up like button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.